I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, April the 10th, brought to you in part by Macrocin by Bimeda. Macrocin is a telethromycin injection, basically a generic Draxin. It is proven efficacy at an affordable upfront price with no BS. End of story. For more information, go to macrocin.com. No news is good news. I haven't heard any new updates about the bird flu in the dairy cattle or, or in any other kind of cattle, but uh, uh, the bird flu has uh, definitely killed uh, the market rally. And now we don't uh, have a lot to go on because we had the, had the whole mojo going our way and then they've got that killed and then, and then beat the board back quite a bit. The board has been slowly recovering here the last couple of days, uh, but it just takes so much when we just gain little bits after we take big hunks out of it. But uh, now we, we really don't have anything even fundamentally to drive the board. Of course, we're tied on all classes of cattle, but they have uh, backed the fat cattle up just a little bit, so there's more plentiful uh, available supplies of fat cattle there because they've slowed the chain speeds down so much. They've, they've made the carcasses heavier and uh, now they don't seem like they're quite so desperate for fat cattle out there. And uh, even on the feeder cattle and calves, uh, the, the feedlots are full. I mean, we don't have a lot of feeder cattle out there, but they're all in the feedlots. The feedlots are pretty much full. We're going to see that at the next cattle on feed report. But uh, uh, and the stocker buyers have pretty much filled their needs uh, for turnout cattle this summer to put out on the grass pastures. So we have nothing really to drive the market anymore. And that's what, uh, that's what uh, your funds and your packers are really hoping for. And it didn't matter whether it was the bird flu or if they started talking about heavier carcasses or they started talking about the inability to keep the box beef cutout values at, at a higher rate. Uh, they were going to find something to work on to beat it back. And now you've got your April live cattle, your spot live cattle contract sitting at uh, 180.70. That's at the close of uh, Tuesday's market there. And would packers like to buy cattle at 180.70? Of course they would like to buy cattle at 180.70. They're looking at a market that's 186, 187, 184 in the Southern Plains. Uh, so, so what gives there? Well, your long positions cannot demand delivery. There's a CFTC meeting coming up here next week and that should be an issue that we should look, like, look at. Uh, whenever your board is higher than what the fat cattle market is, uh, of course your shorts uh, can tender for delivery and that sucks your board right back down, gets it right in line. Well, why shouldn't your long positions be able to demand delivery whenever the, the live cattle spot futures market is, is sitting at a, a big discount to what your fat cattle market in is? And, and that would make things even. That, that, would be, that would be simple. That would be fair. Why can't we do that? Uh, it might even cause some of your packers, maybe even regionals or whoever it is, to come in on the long side and support uh, your futures market on your live cattle. I, I, I wish somebody would tell me why that wouldn't be fair and I hope it comes up in that meeting and I hope we get that enacted uh, in your CME live cattle futures because that, that would be an honest way to do things. But uh, supposedly uh, USDA is broke and now they're not going to be issuing the, the, the mid-year uh, inventory report anymore. Not that that's a big deal, but uh, you know why couldn't they have decided that they weren't going to issue the cattle on feed report every month? Uh, with a, the cattle people would probably have liked that quite a bit better. But let's look at your board for Tuesday. April live cattle futures were up a dollar thirty, but still only closed at one eighty seventy. When we have a, uh, a cash market, uh, the latest established was so much higher than that. June live cattle up 152 at 174.85. Your back months were all up from a dollar to a dollar 65. April feeder cattle up a dollar 40 at 240.70. Still trading at a six or eight dollar discount to what your index levels are for cash feeders. May feeder cattle up 227 at 
239.45. Your back months were all up big from up a buck 85 to up 267. That pales in comparison to the five dollars that we lose every time uh, the funds get excited about whatever's going on and decide to push it down. May corn down four and a quarter cent at 431 and a quarter. May beans down seven cents at 11.74 and a half. Kansas City hard red winter wheat down eight cents at 577 and a quarter. And that's mostly because we had great rains in the Southern Plains. I'll tell you what, right here in the Amarillo area, we had an absolute terrific rain on Tuesday. Started early in the morning, lasted all day long. Uh, getting an inch, inch and a half, maybe more in places. And that's unheard of in the springtime in the Texas Panhandle and in the Southern Plains. Fat cattle trade, absolutely no trade, direct basis out of your five area feeding region. Can you blame them? And uh, so the only market that we have is our only price discovery fat cattle uh, market. And that's a, that's, a, that's a sale barn market at Stockman's Livestock Market in Yankton, South Dakota. They get enough fat cattle to make a difference in a brick and mortar sale barn that 1,700 fats in overnight 2700 in is the total conventional cattle were lower of course because your direct market was lower last week they were steady to three dollars lower from 181 to 187 but it was a market program cattle your non-implanted or drug-free cattle in yankton sold from 184 to 190 uh, and that was four and a half to six dollars lower than just last week but uh, one group that uh, was worth looking at was 30 head of drug-free cattle there, 1,833 pounds. That is huge, guys. They were half wide goose steers, bring 190 and a quarter. We won't get anywhere close to that in the direct trade. Box beef cutout values, uh, they didn't do a lot on Tuesday, but they did not lose all the gains that we saw on Monday, so that's a good thing. Choice cuts are up two cents at 30209. Selects down 37 cents at 299.90. Your slaughter's running at a pretty good clip this, uh, right now, guys. And your packers need product. Now, we have heard that uh, one of your major packers is going to be dark at least one day and maybe two days. Uh, Ramadan holiday uh, for the Muslims is coming up, and they figured they wouldn't have enough workers there to open up, so they may be dark for a day or two there. But so far this week, through the first two days of the week, slaughter, 246,000 estimated harvest there. That's 17,000 more than last week uh, with a big 125,000 head on Tuesday, and that's normal. And your, uh, your slaughter uh, so far for the week is 10,000 bigger than the same week a year ago. Talk about what else is going on. Rec Agri Realty has, has a new... Uh, uh, a uh, uh, slot for sale there uh, and they've, they've got a new listing and it's going to be an auction it's the Advantage Feed Yard near Sterling, Colorado they're going to have a land and equipment auction through Rec Agri Realty it's going to be on May the 2nd it's going to be an online only auction but they're going to be selling that big feedlot there 25,000 head capacity almost 450 acres of land to go with it. It's going to have 27,000 feet of bunk, ample access to feed right around that area. It's got state-of-the-art flaking meal there, 934,000 bushels of grain storage to go with it. Uh, it's got a new office with scales there, two, ir two irrigated pivots. Uh, it's got uh, feed trucks, uh, loaders, uh, outbuildings, everything you would need to get right going with a feed yard there. If you're interested in that land and equipment auction through Rec Agri Realty on May the 2nd, go to recagri.com. For, for uh, talk about your feeder cattle market, your real time index on DV auction, late in the day on Tuesday, sitting at 246.18, that was up a dollar five, and I think it had more to do with the drop off on the other end of the seven day moving average. Uh, your, your sales that we had on Tuesday were mostly smaller, but the market was pretty good in a lot of places. I'm gonna tell you guys all about that. But your CME cash feeder cattle index, uh, the latest available was 248.62,
with an April spot feeder cattle contract at 24070. Now they will come together. It's a cash settle market. They will come together. Whether one gives the other breaks, I don't know. It'll probably come together at some point. But uh, here on Wednesday, gonna have a big sale. I've talked to you about Yankton at Stockman's Livestock Market. They're gonna have a big, big feeder cattle sale here today on Wednesday, expecting 5,000 to 5,500 head of feeders. You don't see that right now. We're about out of cattle, guys. But if you're hungry for cattle, get on to DV Auction. They're gonna start at 8.30 in the morning there at uh, Stockman's Livestock Market in Yankton, South Dakota. Talk about your big sales on Tuesday. Ozarks Regional Stockyard there in West Plains, Missouri. That's always a place to find a trend on a Tuesday. Had a lighter run, 1,650 head through the ring. Another nearly 700 head through their in-house video. They do with help from DV Auction there. Uh, most of their offering was middleweight cattle, five and six weight calves. Not all of them weaned, but they were higher because people are still trying to fill the last of their, of their turnout cattle orders there. And those five and six weight calves sold three to six bucks higher. Others were not well tested. Now I'm going to give you a couple of markets here. Uh, your, your calf market, the, the hottest calf market that I saw anywhere on Tuesday was winter livestock in Lahana, Colorado. About 2,300 head of feeders there on offer. And look at these calf weights on your automated market report through Cattle Market Central. They had big calf weights there. 292 head of four weight steer calves averaged 455 with a weighted average price of 362.29. 376 head of five weight steer calves averaged 540 pounds at 340.53. And 247 head of six weights be steer calves and a few light yearlings there averaging 640 pounds weighted average price 293.24 wow on all of them guys how about your heifers 299 head of four weight heifer calves average 453 the weighted average price of 323.18 my goodness 328 head of five weight heifer calves average 546 at 296.58 and 144 head of six weight heifers average 663 at 249.33 really good calf special there at Lahana, Colorado congratulations to them now your national beef wire stick out sale of the day was on yearling feeder cattle and it was Kimball Livestock Auction in Kimball, South Dakota Kimball Livestock Exchange I should say but look at these weights here and it was on feeder weights here on your automated market report through cattle market central you see 352 head of seven weight steers in kimball average 764 at 270 62 1179 head wow in kimball south dakota of eight weight feeder steers they averaged 847 at 253.79 that's well ahead of your index levels, guys. And 1,036 head of nine weight steers average 941 at 236.18. Now, they didn't have many heifers through there. Uh, must be some people keeping some heifers back up in that South Dakota country, and we're starting to see a little bit more of that. We're not replenishing yet, but we're starting to just a little bit. 116 head of six weight heifers Average 661 at 26211 and 192 head of eight weight feeder heifers there. Average 838 at 23040. Going to give you a couple of individual quotes. Uh, Atkinson Livestock Market in Atkinson, Nebraska. It's right on the yellow brick road there, guys. The old reliable in Atkinson sells 92 steers, weigh 700 pounds smooth at 303 and a quarter. You didn't think that would happen anymore. But a market that I thought was higher for where it's at and what's going on there, guys, and your, and your Macrosin, no BS. Top quote for the day, come out of Fredonia Livestock Auction, my buddy Brad Hahn there. He was pretty tickled about this sale here. It was the Ish cattle there. 75 steers weighed 696 in Fredonia, Kansas, bring 296.50. That's your feeder flash for Wednesday.